Okay, here it is real quick. I wanted to talk about the new MacBook Air coming out in 2015 this year. Maybe in a couple months, maybe at the end of this month. Nobody really knows when it's coming out, right? But I wanted to talk about a couple of the features of it. Uh, I'm not happy about it at all if what, if what everybody is saying is true. I, I already don't like it. You know, originally I thought, man, if I could just get a MacBook Air with a Retina screen, that would be the perfect laptop, you know? But uh, lately, now I have the... Um, I have this thing, the uh, MacBook Pro Retina 13 inch, and it's just, you know, it's perfect. It weighs a little bit too much, you know, to be walking around Thailand with it, but it's okay. I'm going to have to deal with it because I'm not changing, I don't think. You know, the new, the new uh, MacBook Air is supposedly going to be a 12 inch. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Maybe, maybe it does to you, but the 11 inch was great, you know, it worked fine. Uh, once I switched to the 13, I just realized the whole reason that the 11 inch is cool is because of the weight. It was just feather light, you know. But now the Pro is a little bit heavy. The new one that comes out of the 12 inch is supposedly going to be lighter than the 11 inch Air. Uh, do we need thinner and lighter? I don't think so. Because, you know, the, the 11 inch when I had it was slipping off my, off my lap. I couldn't sit there with it on my lap without, if I had the slightest slope to my knee, to my thighs, it's slipping off my lap, you know, I gotta catch it like, like a baseball. So it doesn't really need to be thinner and lighter. What it needs to be is grippier on the bottom. Those stupid, here, this probably, this has the same thing. These stupid plastic things on the bottom that they say are plastic and rubber are not, I don't feel any rubber at all. They're just slippery plastic. Then to top it off, look, you can't even see. It's like a millimeter, if that. It's a millimeter bump. So you know what that means. This computer, all the MacBook Pros, the MacBook Airs, and probably the new one is going to be even worse. They're going to have these little wee bumps on the bottom that don't protect the whole bottom. I've already scratched the bottom of my, my computer. First of all, it's aluminum, so it scratches at anything, right? I mean, wood will scratch aluminum. That's, it's, wood is stronger than aluminum on the hardness scale, but uh, I have scratches all over the bottom. You know why? Because even in my house, the tile on my floor, if I put this on the floor and it's not even, and I, and I pick it up or I slide it, or even when I put it down on the tile, it's going to scratch here because it's actually hitting here. These, these little bumps do nothing. They're worthless. This is stupid. And I don't like that at all. I didn't like it on the air. I thought it was horrible. But here in Thailand, you know, there's not a there's not a level table in the whole country. So every time I put it on a table, it's like this, and it's hitting the bottom. That's what sucks. And if you put you put a towel under there or something, a shirt or something to to even it out, your your computer heats up too much. So you know what is the point? Here's the sec. Here's the other thing. Aluminum is like soft as lead. You know, they might as well make it thin lead. Because you can, I can bang this with my hand and bend it. It's, uh, I can go like this. Damn it. See what I did? You can bend it just by twi twatting it with your finger. I have numerous bumps on there. I didn't drop the computer. I just barely, you know, jammed it somehow. Aluminum. That's ridiculous. Uh, what else? 9 to 5 Mac rumors are saying that the computer is going to be narrower. So it's going to be narrower in, in width, like this, from here to here. Narrower than the 11-inch Air. We don't need that. The, the keyboard is going to be like right flush with the, with the sides. For what? You know, it's, it's like pointless. Don't make it smaller. If they're actually making a 12-inch... Hey, did you see that? Look at that. It doesn't... Uh, it opens right... Ha! <laughs> If you close it and open it real fast. Uh, came up again. Anyway, uh, if they are making a 12 inch that's narrower than the 11 inch, that's thinner than the 11 inch air, if they are making that, I'll overlook it if they also have a 14 or 15 inch to go along with it. If they just make this 12 inch, it's just stupid. You know, it's just like, oh, look, we have the lightest, thinnest computer again. Yeah, but who's going to use it? Little girls and uh, Girl Scouts? 
What else? Smaller bezels around the display, thinner than the 11 inch, about 1.3 centimeters is probably what it's going to try to shoot for because the uh, Lenovo Yoga 3 uh, is, is also 1.3 centimeters. It's going to have a headphone jack and a USB Type-C connector. That's it. All these other, all these other <laughs> ports, no, you're not going to have them. Is, is that true? Is, could that possibly be true? Why would they do that? Who wants to carry around an adapter? When I had the MacBook Air and I didn't have the um, SD slot, card slot for my photos, I, I hated it. Now I have this, I'm so happy, right? I don't have to carry an adapter. You know how many times I forget an adapter? Unless they're going to build an adapter pocket that sticks, that, you know, the machine sucks up into it. I, I don't even bother. That's ridiculous to not have ports on the side. It, there's no point to it at all. The point is make it thinner, right? It doesn't need to be thinner. The MacBook Pro is thin enough. Look. Can you see that? <laughs> New ventilation, supposedly you're going to have ventilation up here now, and speakers up there at the top. Keyboard changes, the keys are going to be closer together, like they need that, you know. Whose fingers can type on a thing to begin with? Mine, because I, I don't know why I have thin fingers, but long. But uh, the 11 inch worked for me well, the Pro works for me great. They're basically very close to the same, you can't really see a difference at all, I can't really feel a difference. But if they actually make them thinner, there's going to be a difference. I mean, my hands probably are not going to fit anymore. Probably 60% uh, of the world's population don't have, adult population, don't have fingers that small to fit nicely onto there. That was the problem with the original, um, those little ultralights that came out. What do they call them? I had the mini HP. It's way too small for me to type on comfortably. Trackpad loses a click. <laughs> Again, there's no goddamn point to, to making the trackpad lose the clicking ability, except just to make everybody angry. Come on. Well, who, wants, who wants to use your finger like this and then tap here? I don't want to do that. I want to feel a solid tap because it's different from what I'm doing with this finger. And is the trackpad going to know what I'm doing when I'm down here like this? Or is, it gonna jump, is the cursor going to jump across the screen when I, hit, when I touch it with my other finger? I don't know. Uh, supposedly they're going to release this during the WWDC 2015 in June this year. Uh, they could even say something about it anytime now because, uh, you know, th this rumor has been going on forever. The new processors came out from Intel that they're going to use the new low energy processors. So they're ready to go. Apparently they're making these things now. Nobody has ever said anything about a 14 and 15 inch. I hope to God it's the best kept secret they ever had because uh, if they don't, I'm not buying it. I can't. I don't know. I bet very few. I don't know what the market is. What is the market? Somebody, somebody with small hands, probably a child. The computer's not going to play games. It's not going to be good enough for uh, video or um, a good photo processing. I don't know what it's going to be for. Who is it for? I don't know. So unless they make a bigger one, if they make a bigger one, I'll consider it. Uh, wifey needs a computer. I'm probably going to stick with my Pro here because I'm just, I really like it a lot. If I have to go somewhere, maybe I'll steal Wifey's computer, you know. If they make a 14, 15 inch, there's a possibility we'll get it. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll just get another Retina 13. I don't know. Anyway, that's the wrap up. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know. Are you guys buying it? Are you going to... Just hold on until they do something meaningful, you know. I mean, all the all the updates are like incremental and like shallow. I mean, they're just not. There's no substance to them, right? It's just like, oh, we're gonna do this. Look, we'll make it this much thinner. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, anyway, that's my take on it. And uh, let me know what you think about it. Cheers.